Okay, so let's go back to the uh, this this idea that type two diabetes is also a hereditary condition because we mm -hmm. talked about type one diabetes earlier, mm -hmm. and the story that I think a lot of people are told, and um, the sequence of events that unfolds is that if a child, let's say a child of the age of eight or ten or twelve, is diagnosed with type two diabetes, mm -hmm. and they look backwards and they take a look, you know, the doctors might take a look at the, your parents or the grandparents, and they say, oh, well, your child is ten years old; they they develop type two diabetes. The mom has type 2 diabetes. The dad has type 2 diabetes. One grandfather had type 2 diabetes on the left side, and one grandmother had type 2 diabetes on the right-hand side. Therefore, type 2 diabetes is likely a genetic condition, mm. right? And what they do is they're basically sort of like tracing both sides of the family, and they're saying, look, you can see it present in all of these different lineages, and as a result of that, your child is now experiencing type 2 diabetes because it's in your genes, okay? Now, that may be true. There, there are definitely genetic predispositions that increase your risk for the type 2 diabetes. There's no question about that. But what's more influential in the development of prediabetes in type 2 is the lifestyle, the lifestyle that you live. So oftentimes, rather than blaming your genes and saying, oh, okay, well, the child got it because the parents had it, and the parents had it because their parents had it, the truth is that the lifestyle that is present on both sides of the family is more influential than the genetic predisposition. Right? So if the child is overweight and developing type 2 diabetes, and the mom is also overweight developing type 2 diabetes, and the dad is also overweight developing type 2 diabetes, and they all eat the same food, and they all have a relatively sedentary lifestyle, then that lifestyle is the contributing factor, the, the influential contributing factor to the development of insulin resistance and type 2. And when you correct that lifestyle, you can actually reverse insulin resistance in the child and the mom and the dad and the grandfather and the grandmother, mm -hmm. right? So it's very easy to point a finger at genetics when in reality, again, genetics may serve as the foundation, but your lifestyle can be the on-off switch between disease or non-disease. Mm -hmm.